There is little the narcissist detests more than being beaten at their own game. When someone proves to them that not everything happens on their watch. And when you're done with them before they're done with you, it sets them down all kinds of rabbit holes. They start wondering where they went wrong, where they misplayed their hand, where they misconstrued the situation at hand. Because narcissists only really entertain people and try to get people into their orbit. If they see those people, A, of having good supply on that offer, something of value, and B, they consider that person having a certain set of personality features that are likely that likely mean they're susceptible to the narcissist's charm, their controlling ways. And if the narcissist has taken you seriously as someone to be a part of their life, then they would have already determined that they're going to always have the upper hand against you. They're going to use you to their advantage. You're going to slowly fall in terms of your energy, in terms of your morale, your self-confidence, and they're going to slowly increase all those features because in a way, they're stealing your confidence. They're stealing your sense of security. They're stealing your go-gettingness. And it's by putting you down that they feel better about themselves. That's how the narcissist likes it. They like always being on the winning and and over time they do get very confident they know that things are not going to last forever between the two of you they know that there's a long stop date for most people in their lives where things are going to end its course but it's going to be on their watch And if they ever get any hints that you might be done with them, that you might be about to pull the plug in the relationship, then they're usually the ones that beat you to it. And they usually have an understanding of where you are in your mind, where you are in terms of how you how you see them in your life, that they can they usually have plenty of time to line up a replacement. They usually have plenty of time to emotionally detach from you sufficiently such that if one from from one day to the next they have to pull the bl- plug, they can just do that. They're always planning behind the scenes. You know, they're always planning behind the scenes of of potential backups. And if they think that you're going in a certain direction where things at some point might not work out anymore, then they'll up the game on those replacements and, and really try to get something in place. But sometimes narcissists they misinterpret where the other person's at. They underestimate how the other person might react to certain things that they do. Because if the narcissist sees just being somebody very dependent, somebody who's been sufficiently weakened by them, where, in their eyes, you're many, many months away from leaving them at best because you're too weak to make it on your own, then they're not going to have any hesitancy, reticence, and just devaluing you and using you to get their needs met because in their mind, you're not going anywhere, not anytime soon anyway. Because the way they see it, if they sufficiently weaken you and break you down over the course of weeks, months, or however long, and they see that you're in a very weak, broken place, in their mind, you might need a long time to ever sufficiently recover from that to ever actually make it on your own. So they're always buying time. And it gives them flexibility, it gives them control because they can call the shots. That means they can do what they want with you and you're unlikely to leave. But they, on the other hand, if they ever wanted to leave, they just could with a little bit of planning and lining up your replacement. But sometimes the other person has a reaction or makes a move that the narcissist doesn't anticipate. And a lot of times, sometimes it's it's a culmination of the subtle things where the, the other person starts to see through the narcissist and just realizes, you know, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm out. But a lot of times it's just a last drop too, because sometimes the narcissist will be very abrupt and do something quite severe. It may be something they've done before, but the other person's just like, you know what, this is it. I'm gone. And if the person decides they've had enough and they've seen 
enough of who the narcissist is as a person sufficiently such that they no, they no longer have any doubt that that person is not healthy, that person can't be fixed, and they decide they're done. If they pull the plug on the relationship before the narcissist is ready, it sets the narcissist down all kinds of rabbit holes. Of course, it starts off with a bit of denial because they can't really accept that someone was able to move on from them if they didn't see it coming. Obviously, in some cases, narcissists see, see it coming. They can see that the person has become enlightened as to who they are, has slowly shifted. You know, there's been that shift in the energy of the room over time that becomes like a permanent shift and the narcissist sees it coming. But if the narcissist doesn't see it coming, if they thought the person was in the same place they, they were a few months before, catching them by surprise, then they, they initially experience severe denial and then they scramble to try to work out what happened and why did did they misinterpret who you were as a person did they misread the situation are you a narcissist are you playing their same game narcissists sometimes can be very naive because what they don't realize is people can educate themselves as to dealing with people with npd disorder and people have already dealt with other people with npd disorder so in a way, it provides them with the right toolkit if they're sufficiently strong emotionally to know that, okay, when they know for certain who they're dealing with, they might be out. But all these questions just start running through the narcissist's mind. You know, of course, initially is denial because they can't accept that, that you left them before they left you. And they certainly can't accept that they didn't see it coming because that has a huge impact on their ego, a huge impact on their confidence, a huge impact on their own judgment, because they like bringing people into their orbit who are going to be forever susceptible, who are going to be forever in the weaker position. But if you leave them before they leave you, all of a sudden you're not in the weaker position. Um, but going back to the denial, it's not uncommon for narcissists to shrug it off, sometimes for days or weeks even, at the beginning, thinking that you might be playing a game, you'll be back soon. You know, how could you not come back? They're perfection, aren't they? You know, the way they see it, they see you as seeing them as perfection. They see you as seeing them as someone who cannot be replaced. Because that's how they played their cards at the beginning. They portray themselves as being something, somebody, a type of persona that of course wasn't real. It's purely manufactured, but it was purely manufactured to be the best fit for what you want. And they know that you attach to that fake image so strongly. But what they fail to realize so often is that you come to realize that was fake, that it's not real. They try to make you think that that person that you knew at the beginning is real, but if you just play your cards a little bit different and you're patient, you might get them back, but you have to work for it. So they're always trying to make you work for it. Whereas you've realized they're full of you know, nonsense. They're full of S-H-I-T. So, discarding the narcissist before they discard you, when they're not expecting it, when they predicted that that would not happen, it really shakes the foundation of any, everything that they are in terms of their own judgment of character, their own confidence, their own ego, and that denial is a hard thing to shake off because they will tell them some stories for days and weeks that you're going to come back, you're going to come back. And then it's almost like they reach that point where they think, are they really not coming back? You know, they might even be entertaining side pieces and doing other things, but a heavy part of them is wondering and weighing in on the whole concept of you. Like, what are you up to? And then, and that takes up a lot of their, their energy. It takes up a lot of their focus. And sometimes they succumb to this whole thing of wanting to reach back out to you. They succumb to this whole um, this whole concept of trying to understand where you're at. Trying to somehow flip the script as if they've done nothing wrong. And that almost playing the innocent one like, what happened? A lot of times that's the only card they can play is resorting to some someone who's innocent. You know, 
And if you're dealing with a female narcissist, so this would apply to a lot of men, um, you it's that whole kind of damsel in distress. They'll, they'll, they'll play themselves as being the very a victim of something to try to draw on your heartstrings. Um, but the bottom line is they, they use very, they use tactics that really pull at your hum, humane side to see if you can come back to them, explain to them what's happened, warm yourself back up to them so that they can then give you that final push and things on their watch. So they don't like it when things don't end on their watch. Things must always end on their watch. And when things don't end on their watch, or don't actually end in the way that they envisaged, even if it ended on their watch sometimes, but it's not exactly how they envisaged, it's not uncommon for them to try to loop you back in to end it, but such that the ending is exactly in a way that suits them. So that's it for today's video. Um, if you haven't connected on Instagram yet, please do so. And yeah, just a reminder, if anyone wants any coaching sessions on anything with narcissistic relationships or similar matters, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is in my bio and yeah, you can connect on Instagram, like I said. Thanks for watching.